Hello, Disney Card Toys here with Pascal and Rapunzel Barbie, and today we are going to make Rapunzel a brand new dress using Play-Doh. Now here's the Rapunzel Barbie. Right now she's wearing a swimsuit with a little cover, and the swimsuit is just painted on, so we'll leave that on and we'll put Play-Doh over it. But before we make the dress, let's remove her crown. I'm going to make her a blue dress, so we don't need a purple crown. And also her hair's a little straggly and I don't want it getting caught in the Play-Doh or anything either, so I'm going to braid her hair. This Rapunzel doll is a little interesting because she's got cut blonde hair. It's not way past her ankles, but it's not brown like in the movie when she cuts her hair, it's brown. So not totally like the movie, but that's okay. Now I'm done with her braid, I'm just going to put a little rubber band at the end just to hold it together and we're done. Here's Rapunzel's new hairdo. This is step one of the makeover and now we can finally make the Play-Doh dress. For her dress I'm going to try something new and I'm going to make it a corset top. So for the corset portion I need to have a triangle and we'll put lace over the triangle. But just cut out in Play-Doh a small triangle. And then roll out some blue Play-Doh which we'll use for the top of the dress as well. I'm going to place the triangle on top of the blue Play-Doh just so we know how big to cut out the top. So we'll just cut right across the top and then another straight line across the bottom. And then put the Play-Doh on the Rapunzel Barbie doll. Just smush it to her body and then connect the end pieces in the back. Now this tangled Disney princess needs some mobility in her arms. So I'm going to take a Play-Doh knife and we'll cut a little half circle underneath her arm. This way we can move her arm up and down and it's not going to get caught in the Play-Doh. Do the same thing to the other arm. Next in my hand I'm going to roll out a little string which we're going to use as a pull-up lace for her corset in the front. Now this is going to be kind of a hard part. I've never done this before but I have it in my mind. so. Hopefully it turned out. I'm just going to zigzag this string back and forth on the triangle piece of her top so it looks like she's wearing a corset. It's kind of hard to do one-handed too because I'm holding the Barbie and then doing this with one hand. So just press it and fold it and go back and forth. Okay, we did one side of the ribbon, so now we have to do the other side. I rolled out my hands another string, and we'll just connect it the same way, just starting at the top and then going back and forth all the way down to the bottom. I'm just crisscrossing it and then making the folds in between the string that I just did. And I have a little bit of extra Play-Doh, so I'm just going to wrap it around and connect it to the first string. And here's a better look at her corset. It actually turned out really well. Next I'm going to use Play-Doh Plus to make Rapunzel's Barbie sleeves. Now Play-Doh Plus is much easier to extrude and mold and model than regular Play-Doh. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. What I'm doing is just pressing out the Play-Doh on the extruder but I'm kind of pressing it into her and so it makes a little folding pattern. And it's sticky too so it sticks really well to her. And I'm going to do the same thing for her other sleeve. Just using some white Play-Doh Plus and folding the Play-Doh out to be a sleeve. Here's Princess Rapunzel's sleeves. I feel like sleeves can be sometimes the hardest part, so I'm glad that these turned out so well. To finish off her dress we need a skirt, so I'm going to roll out some dark blue Play-Doh and then cut a somewhat curved line across the top to fit her body and then cut a line at the bottom. The Tangled Princess's skirt is about knee length. We're going to press it just right into the top and just kind of smush the Play-Doh together where the light blue and dark blue meet but then also press the Play-Doh together in the back to form to her body. Rapunzel has a pencil skirt right now, but I feel like we need to dress it up a little bit. So we're going to add some ruffles using some more white Play-Doh Plus. 
This step is pretty similar to the sleeves, only we're going to add a ruffle at the bottom of her skirt. Just press out the Play-Doh Plus and while you're doing it, just kind of fold it together. And we'll do this all the way around the skirt. And this is a lot of ruffles, I had to reload the extruder three times to do this. But the skirt is now complete. She now needs some accessories, so I'm going to add just a simple dark blue bracelet around her wrist to match her skirt and the corset. And on all my other Play-Doh Barbies I've made, I've always had comments that I've forgotten the shoes. So I'm going to try and make shoes for her. I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to try to make some flats. I'm just going to mold some Play-Doh around her feet. Try to get it to fit. Okay, there's one shoe. So basically what I do for the shoe is I just put some Play-Doh underneath her foot. I have her step on it, and then I roll up the sides. I try to leave some room in the middle so that it looks like a flat. Yay! And now Rapunzel Barbie has a brand new Play-Doh dress. I like this way more than the swimsuit. And I think that Pascal approves too. My most favorite part is the corset that turned out so well. Click on a picture to watch another fun Play-Doh doll video. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and have a great day.